Okay. Okay. Go ahead. And just equal me allowing to go uh, advertising on my channel too. So okay. I'm a fan. <laughs> so I need to share this with you. Okay. I'm going to share this with you as well. Okay, sure. Uh, so well because everybody's touching it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so funny, yeah. <laughs> when I had the other pieces here, it was like uh, I couldn't have anybody touch it. Because when I did that, one person, one nice, he broke my piece. Oh. See? So that, that's one, how it broke? Yeah, he was going to test it. And, Are you serious? Yep. Yeah, that's the one Wow. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Tussauri. I am the uh, expert in our aging civilization from the Indonesia, the Mantis, and also Agatha, and the Rama civilization, the New civilization, the Iowa civilization. Pretty much the entire planetary Agatha uh, history is also really great in my knowledge. What we have here, what we have is called the Aknu Kaki. It's known as Aknu Kaki. So this is a Christian representing the mountain. The both the mountain and the moon origin. The Aknu Kaki, and this is what we call the engineer of the sun god. I know we read the scripture here to show the engineer of the sun god of the builder of the portal. This is represent this culture. This basically is uh, in nature originally is called what we call Atlantean. Atlantis engineer that then uh, him that the, the Atlas King sent their army to basically South America to establish a stronghold to make sure the civilization not destroyed when their war with their new cultures around. around. Basically around 30,000 years ago, during the later year of 25,000 years ago, uh, Lemuria was destroyed by the Atlantean and Egyptian culture. And that's why you see the alliance between the Egyptian and the Atlantean in the symbol of the pyramid, which is reminiscent of the uh, intelligent uh, agreement between the, the founding royalty of the 13th king. That's why you see the pyramid has the 13th stone that represents the 13th king, the founding king that create the Egyptian and the Atlantean alliance. And in many ways, the eye is the key because in order to get knowledge, you have to look into the eye because of the nanotechnology crystal. We call it made from sananite. Sananite is basically you look into it and notice the energy pulsing. And then by looking at it like that, you start it start communicating to you to an empath like tele, it's not like telepathic. It's empathic communication. So what time? So can you come here and meet me? Okay. Okay, doctor, if you don't mind, you put that down and you, you, you I'm sorry. Somebody broke it, but we are still using it. Would you come this way? Let me show you demonstrate. Yes, yes. I will actually both of you do it. Watch, let me demonstrate the power of this. Okay, hold on. I want, I want a doctor first. This would be awesome. Now, doctor, look to the eye. Comes close to like this. And then when you look at it, it will start downloading, it will start communicating with you. It's called the Now, okay, look at it. You see, you feel the pressure coming, coming? Now, it will communicate, it will download empathic communication to you. And so you have any question about the history, you start getting uh, 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 intelligent communicating through your uh, empathic emotion. Mm -hmm. It's like a knowing. Start being projected to you. Any question you ask, it, that communication will go. It's not like telepathic as mental. This is em, uh, empathic. It's, a, it's like wearing communication. The, the yes. copper mm -hmm. thing. You see that? You see the, the pressure coming from it, the energy? You see that? It, it's getting it. that, that it connect to your eye, and that's where it start downloading it, it knowledge. Because this thing is a store of knowledge. So, as you can see right here, this is you have UFO, UFO system. That's telling you this guy, uh, this commander, uh, this uh, uh, military commander, he uh, controls space fleet. He controls uh, his own space fleet. And so, 
This is showing the alignment between the Atlantean and the Egyptian culture with the 13 uh, king. The 13 king because Atlantean is big and Egyptian at that time is big. They have regional king that formed together what we call the king council. And that's why then you have the main, the president, the, the one that is from Atlantean, that's the one that controls. Now, saying this is part of Lemuria, this is not correct. Because as you can see, this is all, this is not Lemurian people. This is Atlantean people. Because okay. Atlantean people use this kind of genetic engineering. You call them Anunnaki. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, this is Anunnaki, right there. This is, this is Atlantean warrior because they engineer Anunnaki being to control the spacecraft because it comes from the Atlantean space fleet, the Egyptian Atlantean space fleet. So, the dictate, let me read it to you. This show basically this Anunnaki uh, that was serving the 13 King Atlantis, I mean, King Atlas and his council. See that? Uh, he controlled his space fleet right here. And this is the council which they control. You see the snake right here? It's called the Orion. Uh, constellation. See that the, the tail of the alligator here. Wow. It's nothing like. See this kind of stuff you'll find mostly in Egypt. Does that make sense? Okay. Egypt. Yeah. So the, also the constellation of the track pole, the tail of the alligator, uh -huh. the tail of the snake. Okay. So this is showing that their substitute to the draconium star system. Ah. Okay. Right. So by knowing the truth, and you go into the another chevron right here. This is snapping on this hand. So they're showing that human representation that this guy carrying what we call a translator genetic dominator. This is the pole right there. So that is showing how they take genetic of reptilian being mixed with people like us to create what we call reptilian hybrid uh, ser a servitude race. That's right. why human being has a certain reptilian DNA with a skin, skin with flake and a whole nine yards. So, communication, you have to look at, you have to be in this right here, to just look. Look, you start, you start to talk to uh, you. Emotional communication to you. Yeah. You wow. can hear it in voice, but it's not telepathic. Telepathic is more mental, it's more emotional. So emotional. Communication. Yeah. Wow. Does that, uh, does that help clarify things? Absolutely. You Mix. see? Yep. So, that's why you have to go, and why this two ear here, it's not just like an ear. It's actually, it's a technological sphere. So, by look at what's above the ear right there. You see it? Mm -hmm. And look at note of the chevron here. What's that? The eye to eye there. That to show you, it's to show you like they belong to a, a greater com com camaraderie. It look like to you as a people. Look closely, knowing that that geometry or, or you call it like tattoo, but it's not a tattoo. This is called the uh, uniform. Uh, hydroglyphic, uh, a, a cuneiform. A cuneiform. So let me read it. I, I am the commander of the fleet, was sent by King Atlas, Lord of Atlantean realm. I am their servitude on honoring of King Atlas. He sent us and all his army to save ourselves from the oncoming destruction foreseen by King Atlas himself. Wow. Wow. So that's why this is the pyramid structure here. See that? Yeah. There was a pyramid structure here. Represent the alliance of Egyptian uh -huh. and Atlantean. And Atlantean, yes. yes. That's why you see this extraterrestrial being are the Anunnaki. Yeah. Not, has nothing to do with Lemuria. They were at I wouldn't have known that ever. That's amazing. And that's how you able to look into the eye. You feel uh, uh, emotional pressure. Mm -hmm. And then you feel you're entering an art, an, an, an art state of consciousness already. Does that help you now? It does. Thank you. And there's two holes very important. That's when they put a light through here in this light. And when you enter, it creates a uh, uh, in your emotional mind, a hologram display, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. That help create a, a, a triangle called pattern in the spirit for your mind, for your mental to see inside your emotion. Wow. So that's basically it. Any question? It's excellent.
I knew he was a pilot or a commander or something. And so I figured that these were two serpent beings coming together. Serpent, that means the marriage of two alliances, of two cultures, that means Egyptian and Atlantean. And Atlantean. Yes. yes, I see that. That's exactly right. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Super soldier. <laughs> 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 right. Do you want to show them the artifacts too? Okay. Do you want to just stop? Okay, you're going to show us some artifacts. Okay. Okay. So we good? So we good, James? Okay. You want me to read it too, or? I just hard to get the pictures that I got. I got some here. Should we get upgrades by looking into it? Yeah, you can, uh, go, he was, his, whatever this commander was, and then Aku Khan, he start, you will start to have his, his life knowledge into your, he put his, um, his, his essence into this, this system already. This one, I want you to look. Okay, yeah, okay, I, I, I can read this. Do you mind if I take it? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Can, can you say, can we talk about one of the Yes, I can. Um, yes, thank you. I'm going to go on this side too, so I can... story of the reptilian mother. It is related not to non-human being. It is the story of the uh, Draconium Empire where the queen called Anna, um, the Anachara. Her name is Anachara. Okay. Anachara is a, 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 a scientist engineer from the, the old agent, they are gigantic beings, what you call the uh, agent uh, Elohim. And her name is Anachara, uh, Anachara, and what happened? The story saying that the the elongated hybrid is showing aberration toward this female, but the human aspect that's that's just that's just a cover story. But she's actually a a, a light being, a, a three hundred feet tall light being. And what happened? She's a scientist. She would take a uh, uh, rip uh, eight reptiles from different planets and she would genetic engine to operate the genetic code to make them what you call the a reptilian race. So they recognize the species of reptilians on the, this uh, eternal goddess that is living in the uh, higher dimension and her name is Anna Char because they recognize that she's the one that create their whole entire race. So they worship her religiously. Under her is the priest and priestess because women is a ruling party in reptilian society. So the priestess control the warrior class, the, 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 the other science, the engineering class, and every other caste, because the reptilian is a caste structure. Okay. You can be born in a warrior family, you be a warrior all your life. Mm -hmm. It's hard for you to change. Wow. But you have to go under to the university of apprenticeship. Or you can be born in the scientist caste, or uh -huh. priest caste. The highest caste of all would be the priest and priest. Okay. Priest and priestess caste. That's the one that control the government because no one can override the priest and priest caste. That's the one that is communicating with Anachara. And this is what this means. Does that help? See, how the religion of the, the religion or the reptilian religion is also carrying the human society where people worship what you call Mother Mary. Yes. Mother Mary is a representation of Anachara. Okay, that's what it and sounded the like. Cast. And then the priest caste, like we have in mirroring the reptilian priest caste, where religion dominates political arena, uh, military arena, scientific arena, and entertainment arena. So see, this is mirroring the same as the rep Dracon reptilian society, and we also have caste. Uh, for example, the rich, the, the, the middle class, and the poor and the 
and the yes. low class and the rich class are we trying to act out their dark fantasy on the lower class, right. a lower caste. Yes. Caste and class is the same thing. Yes, yes. Two different words, but directly meaning category. Yes. Value and not value. And yes. That's what I mean. Does that help you guys? Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, going further now, we know that this is Vermana or U U UAV or UFO. Okay. And this is called the uh, Anunnaki again. The in low head Anunnaki. Uh -huh. The and the, 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 yeah. the, the, the taller you got, you're more royalty. Okay. The less you're not that much royalty. Because what determines your royalty or not is the elongate of your skull. Wow. Does that help sense? So you have the long one, that's royalty, mm -hmm. and the, the medium one, that's a uh, commander or a warrior or maybe a scientist, and the not so elongate one, that's called the underling, the servitude. Wow. So I hope this helped you. The Vermana showing that these people are very developed in their uh, uh, understanding of physics and technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're not an idiot. Right, yeah. right, right. So that's what it means. And see, they are hybrid. They are Anunnaki. Look at their head. And mm -hmm. then when they're the it, I also have the same similar thing, whether it be uh, their human hybrid descendant or or other culture to send it. The Enlogan head will give them away they are Anunnaki. They are engineered from the uh, related to reptilian or draconium culture because that's why the reptilian, the, the, the royal one have Enlogan head. They're like lizard, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they have wings, you know? Uh -huh. They look like your demon and some will have yeah. horn. Yeah. The world have horn. So that's why we, Earth is basically a byproduct of reptilian influence. Yeah. Can you put a date on there, or okay, is that let's go to, similar? Uh, let's go to uh, back to the, the early day. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Ten <clears throat> human being came into the system from a liar, uh, uh, a civilization for oh, four million years ago. Okay. Six million years. I mean, ten million years ago, um, the reptilian uh, allow a species called um, the Cetacean well family dolphin that originally on Earth, known as the dolphin people, they evolved it on this planet and they, at first, at first they were underneath, they were served to. Uh, the reptilian on this planet allowed the, the dolphin culture to evolve and become sentient, become light body, a full consciousness. But they went to war around 10 million years ago. And the, 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 the dolphin people, decide to split into two. Part of their society will go into space and colonize sector one, sector two, and the other part will colonize the ocean to maintain the environment. But before they did that, they prepared to use their fully conscious body, which is a light body transformer to adapt, you know, to, to creature we know as the whale and the blue whale and the dolphin. Mm -hmm. That's the only people that will help you. And furthermore, they are known as the uh, a water guardian, so they need a land guardian. So the space brethren would go and seek for a land guardian to colonize. But in the meantime, they would detonate the fusion generators along the, the, the Indian continent, the Tibetan, the, the Mongolia. They detonated the fusion reactor and and destroy all the, the, the reptilian culture of the time. The reason is they, they found out that priest and priest talked to planetary guy and guy told that the reptilian had received order from Draconian Prime to exterminate him using psychotronic weaponry. You see, this is 10 million years ago. Yes. And then during that time, they went 2 million years seeking, uh, looking for a land-based creature. And then they, they found him in uh, the Lyran, the Vagan star system, the, you know, the Lyran, um, the Lyra constellation, there's a, a star system called the Vega, uh -huh. which they found the primate that that intrigued them. They start observing that primate for uh, their evolution, their social conduct. They found the eat fish, the cat fish in the ocean, and they were uh, the human ancestors that existed. Okay. So, the, um, so in about like six million years ago, they approached the uh, Vegan Gaia, the Vega, the Vega, Vega. Mm -hmm. um, constellation. Uh, no, the, the Vega star system has a planet called Vega. You know, 
<laughs> and they approach the the spiritual or the conscious of that planet and ask permission, can they evolve the climate into a fully conscious being? So naturally, it would take 16 million years for um, for any creature to evolve into, into a, a fully conscious, conscious being, being, a sentient level. Wow. So they intervene it and engineer that human being, uh, that particular species, uh, into us, mm -hmm. into a galaxy, galaxy and homo, and aid them with technology and develop. And finally, um, around like um, two million years ago, they, uh, at this time, the, the people of Earth have reached into space and developed you know, you know, exploration stage and find it in kind of reptilian and then reptilian to claim dominance over the galaxy and then they politically disagree and build a reptilian farm and human culture. They were amazed and never seen anything like it. So the reptilian offered them gifts uh -huh. but with string attack. Because this was right. scientists. Mm -hmm. Right. We're not warrior kind, it was scientists. Scientists was like Wow, what is this? Yeah, it's beautiful. You know this, that. Yeah. Then come to find out, human and plant are cunning. Uh -huh. They're cunning. Yes. Like, uh -huh. you know, like, like a virus, we like, we like, we like. Our brain is like, oh, I want to learn this. What's going on? So they, you give them something, they make it better. You know, like that. Uh -huh. So um, finally, um, there was a political disagreement between uh, draconian crime and and so they want to annex the entire galaxy, and therefore the human. The politicians do not like the setup. Mm -hmm. It was like reptilian rule and no one is allowed, so they form a, a reflection of what the draconium form, a draconium, how the Anachara continuum are reptilian alliance, where all reptilians become as one to dominate their territory. And any and any star planet, they said that any planet that have to cultivate the light body without their permission, they will censor or they will punish. Okay. So, and Earth have already developed the light body, so they see human beings as quite a, a threat. A threat, exactly. Policy. Right, right, so, right. And also they want to contain the um, territory. Uh -huh. their own. Mm -hmm. So other species bind it together and disagree with that policy, begin to annex their own territory. And our ancestors made a charge with the uh, Sintasian, you know, with uh, the lion species, uh, with the Acturia species, and they formed the thing called the God Federation. Okay, and yeah. And this was around 400 years ago. So this is the war. Mm -hmm. The war. Yeah. War. And right now the war just postponed in 1992 in that time because the because the divine God tell Arthur and Michael a decree said become one. Uh -huh. That means the light and dark must become one. By that decree, Archangel Michael created a human being and other sentient species, that mammal and stuff, approached Anachara for that the divine decree asked us to become to one. To come together, and yes. And then the uh, Anachara continuum, okay, because it's divine decree, so there's no argument with that. And that's what happened. Because wow. Anachara gave reptilian and her children advanced technology, advanced mm. weaponry. That's why they were able to overcome wow. you know, ahead of other species. She uh -huh. helped them. She, she helped, helped them. them. And that's Mother Mary. Yes. So this is a reptilian religion. And which human being. And a child is the species she created. Okay. In this case, a reptilian. The reptilian will go to the honor, the honor not to. Wow. Well, this, they're on top of two pyramids. Each Mother Mary represented on top of two pyramids. See that? Mm -hmm. And you already know the Atlantean and the Egyptian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? And no one knows this except me because I know God the history. I know. That was amazing. So now, that was so you fun to. The panel, but this is the panel. <laughs> but to be and concur, the. Uh, um, the uh, before Lim, uh, Lemuria, Atlantean, Egyptian, the Ioni, the U civilization was under the umbrella of Shambhala, the Argata kingdom in the earth. But they decided to ask the mission can they colonize the earth surface? The mission was given. Mm -hmm. But next thing you know, they forgot the agreement that they are, the mother colonies are um, Argata. You know, we are got the Federation citizens. But when they Colonize the surface. Well, 
they decided to go to war for the night to try to destroy the Lemuria, destroy the Rama civilization, which is the son of the, uh, the uh, government of the uh, Shambhala, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they're trying to go to war with the youth, civilization, which is in China, which I, I got Cuban in China, where they have Cuban, everything like Egypt. And then they go, went to war with the Ioni, which is the, the, the son and daughter of the Atlantic elite, that, that they got exiled because of their uh, you know, political view against the uh, government of Atlantium. They want to bring back Lemurian culture that Atlanta was under, but the elite at that time didn't agree, so they decided to exile the, the, the kid. Mm -hmm. And you know, these people didn't have long, long lifespan. Mm -hmm. you know? so, and then finally they want to use the, 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 um, the protocol of using the moon that they use to destroy the Muria. They want to use this, the Earth second moon to destroy the Ioni, but that didn't work. So they knew about it because what colonized Roman, Rome, Crete, you know, Crete and all the kind of stuff, Greece were the uh, civilizing of the Ioni. That's why you hear the story about Zeus and, oh. and, and, and Polyon. They were the son pretty much and daughter of the Atlantean elite that was exiled. Okay. And that's why you hear about fighting Titan. Titan was the Atlantean elite. Mm -hmm. And so they, they the Atlantean decided to go to punish the Iron for this, for, uh, for uh, embarrassing them in the world view because they, they try to make themselves strong so they're going to use a modified version of what the Atlantean produced to destroy the Maria. When the Ioni scientists found that out, they go ahead and tweak instead of coming the second moon coming toward to destroy Ioni, they tweak it to destroy Atlantis instead. Um. See? Wow. And so the Earth without a moon is not good. So they have to uh, after Atlantium was um, destroyed around 15,000 years ago, because 25,000 years ago was Lemuria was destroyed by Atlantium. And then several thousand years later, uh, that means 5,000 later, uh, um, Atlantis was destroyed by the Ioni. Using the same method they're going to use on the day, modified the Ioni and the backlight. And they all have space for you. And that's what happened. So this is what's the idea behind it. Amazing. And so I really recognize her because I have all their knowledge. I know, and you just great. pull it up. It just comes right to you. So so uh, this moon that we have mm -hmm. was brought here around 25,000 years ago oh. during the destruction of New Maria. Okay. See? Ain't that amazing how we're doing this? Yes. So... So now, now you see how they stored all their, their their empathic emotion into here. So you can tap it by tapping to empathic communication. Yes, uh, that's empath fascinating. Empathic communication. That's yes. And um, so the moon, I've this heard. This artificial. Yes. It is belongs to the planet called Marduk. Okay. Which is a blow-up planet that was destroyed by uh, the Nibiru planet, an okay. artificial mm -hmm. planet built by the God Federation. And run it by the time it was uh, Pleiadian uh, people, okay. you know, that belonged to the uh, Gothic Alliance, and they put this to protect the solar system from reptilian uh, reincursion, a colonization of Earth, because during the two million years when human beings had found this planet two million years ago, mm -hmm. they colonized Earth. It's called the hyperborean civilization. They were wiped out, and then by uh, the attack of reptilian that want to take control of the star system again. So the military stronghold of reptilian was on the solar system. So the guy put in a plan to take out the reptilian stronghold, which is they have a three fair month and they have uh, this moon that we have, is, they say a battle moon. It was surrounding the planet Madhu before it was destroyed. So a battle moon? Yeah, uh -huh. it's, this moon we call battle moon. You have to have living to it's a military base, a okay. stronghold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was used to deter any invasion of the solar system. So the Guy Federation brought Nibiru, a battle planet, to you know teleport it in to non localization means. And when they do come forth, they start attacking. The first thing they did was to take out uh, 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 Madhu, you know? Yes. The Madhu. Yes. And, 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 and when they shot first, they hit Neptune, so Neptune's side turned to it. Ah. And, then, and then they have to realign everything and, and finally destroy Madhu and blow up to the asteroid. And this moon, 
this moon before the reason it missed because this moon began to activate its particle weapon and shot uh, Madhuk and then the, the artificial planet, which is four times the size of Earth, which is the one built a that acceleration, you have to realign yourself because when they got shot by um, by the artificial our artificial moon that was at Madhuk that time, um, they have to realign everything and focus on my dude, you know, but they got shot, it kind of, you tear their, their beam particle weapon, mm -hmm. and it hit that uh, Neptune and, 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 and affect Uranus orbit as well. Mm -hmm. So finally, when they took out my dude, guess what? You have all this asteroid there, you know? Uh, okay. And then, and then the, this moon was floating between the astral belt and Mars and was going nowhere, it stuck mm -hmm. in a, a, a mingling orbit between both. So during the fall of Atlantean, I mean Alimuria, Atlantean contacted the Palladian ally to have three gigantic craft, which is the half side of the moon, to triangulate to create a field to, to ease in the moon that we have now into orbit to give uh, us a balance of gravity. Gotcha, wow. And then finally, the second moon that you don't see now, it was used to destroy the Atlantean around uh, 15,000 years ago. That means 13,000 BC. Okay. So we got to have at 2,000 years, so that's 15,000 years. Does that make mm -hmm. sense now? So now the Earth is only have one moon. Okay. We sort of have two moons to balance the Earth, our, our energy. Okay, so we're supposed to have two moons? And this planet's supposed to have the monopole planet, not a bipolar, because we don't have a balanced moon. That's why you see we have low vibration okay. and high vibration being coexisting. Yes. Yeah. Our limited consciousness being. Right, right. Fully conscious being coexisting. Inside the Earth is fully conscious being. Yeah. Outside the Earth is limited conscious being, such as ourselves. That's why our genetic code is really different. Yes. Two and said the inside they have a twelve genetic code. Mm -hmm. So they have an unlimited conscious being. So do you see how this whole thing works now? So what do you think about that? How do you like I'm like, explaining to you? It's, it's excellent, excellent. Except that ancient well, Atlanta was under the uh, ancient linear uh, umbrella. Mm -hmm. but Egypt the um, the Egyptian Atlanta has the, uh, the, the older kingdom, mm -hmm. the middle kingdom, and the new kingdom. So, the, you know, the change of, you know, the change of policy. You know? yeah. And that's how it's it, it The old kingdom was under the leader. When they broke away with them, they decided to create their own model. They didn't want to do the leader yeah. model. Then there was a civil war within the Atlantium between their lead and their son and daughter. So the, the, the next generation want to bring, the next generation want to bring back the Limurian model. Mm -hmm. And the um, pretty much, and the elite now we're going to keep our mark because we they they want to break away from that model. And then when they destroy Lemuria, the Yu civilization and the Rama civilization join force and send a message to a land to what they did. It's wrong. They need to apologize to the other Earth colony that was seen here by the Vega by the star system, you know, from that generation. Life. And that's why you see our diverse human culture. You know, each human come from a different star system. Yes. I mean, I mean, we come from the Vega star system, the Vega Vega star system. But when our people, our ancestors went out to space, they colonized the star system. Mm -hmm. the Syria, the Septa one, Septa two, the um, Ashwan, you know, the, the Swan star system. Mm -hmm. You know, and others. The you know, we begin to expand. The Serial A, Serial B, uh, Serial B, that's where human is, but Serial A is the lion people, you know, that, that you look like lion. So, there's a whole story among the story in cosmic history. But however, the point here on Earth, we sort of be returning back to fully conscious when we have the contact between the God Federation that is happening right now to first through this closure of the government finally, the soft one, and finally the contact. Yes. So getting people ready, you know, the social media ready. Yes, and so w once we have contact, mm -hmm. the people on the outside of the earth are, will... The inside the, and the outside can meet, and we can, uh -huh. the store can meet. And then yeah. we can all move we can towards all full con consciousness. In the, uh, 
uh, in the uh, um, crystallized chamber to transform us back into a uh, fully conscious human being with 12 helix DNA. Like, uh, and we just grow taller, bigger, like eventually, and we can teleport. And that's all going to happen body. here on planet Earth. It's going to happen that's right. in your lifetime. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes, yes. And How April, exciting. April 16th. 2024 will be contact day. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, from the future, according to historical data. Great. From the future. So that's basically it. Oh, so ain't that beautiful? Yes, it's beautiful. So without further ado, uh, any questions? Okay. No, I think that, that was absolutely wonderful. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. It's going to write that. Did you have more you wanted to show? Maybe another time? No, another time. Mm-hmm. That's good. Thank you for that. I, How you like it? Did you enjoy the, 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 the crystals? Mm-hmm. The carvings? Yes. I, I know. I mean, this knowledge is, is pretty advanced, you know, but... Oh, my God. That mm-hmm. is just fascinating. I, that's mm-hmm. amazing. Um, yeah. That, and that just triggers your memory mm-hmm. to come out and to tell the history. Yes. So, How about you, uh, Dr. Johnny? Very did, that, good. did that help you a lot? Very good. <laughs> okay. Okay.